What are CRM and CMS systems? Hello, episode 404 of the Marketing for Owners podcast. With me, your host, John Buck. For those of you that are unaware, this is recorded as a video. I am in Canada, in South Surrey, in British, beautiful British Columbia, down at the golf course. So you can see, oh no, you can't. If, uh, they were there a minute ago, uh, just finishing off the hole across the lake, the lovely swan that attacks people every now and again. Uh, this is recorded as a video. You can find the video at, on the website at marketingforowners.com slash podcast slash 404 you can see the video you can see the full show notes this is actually transcribed and written so every link everything I mention every uh, every little tip is there you can uh, you can download the mp3 you can listen to the mp3 uh, to the audio version that you are probably listening to already and you know on iTunes or on Stitcher or on SoundCloud and you can also get that video on YouTube and on Facebook Gosh, it's everywhere, <laughs> yeah. But because it's everywhere, every now and again, someone will send me in a question and ask me a question. Now, someone recently asked this very question. And, uh, and to be honest, or in fact, it was a friend of a friend that asked the question, so I don't actually know the name of the person, but hello, thanks for asking this question. And it, it was a, just a question in general, just, but, they wanted, so quite simply, the question was, what on earth is the difference between CRM and CMS systems? And, and do we need both? And if, oh, are they different? Or isn't there software that does both? Okay, so very basically, CRM, Customer Relationship Management Software, um, which basically means if you have clients, if you have uh, customers or if you are in sales and you contact people, you would record their name, phone number, company name, address and things like that and the date you called them or contacted them or, or an action was taken, you'd record it in a CRM software system and then it can set a, a date for a follow-up in a calendar. So for, for example, if you're doing a sales call, you should always follow up things. So if you've just been on to an exhibition and somebody said, okay, call us, give me a call in a week. You should enter that in as soon as you get back, diary it within the system, and it will send you a little note of who to call today uh, in seven days time. Or in a year, you could, if you make a note of when their birthday is, it will note that and then you can send them stuff next year for their birthday just as a gift, as a surprise. <clears throat> you can even go as far as finding out when their spouse's birthday is and then you can send a gift to their spouse if you have a home address. How impressive would that be, eh? Yeah, exactly. Because if, the, if that's someone who's involved in a buying decision and the spouse, say, say uh, you normally speak to the, the husband and you send a bunch of flowers to the wife and say who it's from and he gets home from work and she says, wow, see what I got today? Isn't that going to be impressive? I bet you it'll be better than what he got. <laughs> so, you know what men are like. So a CRM system can record that, but the other thing, it can record notes. So for example, you're talking to someone and they say, well, I'm really sorry. I, uh, our dog, Jack, a black Labrador, he's 14 years old and and we're going to have to take him to the vet. He's been really poorly for a while and it's really sad. And I think it's, it's coming to that time. Oh, and, you know, the, I don't know what to do with the kids, but we really, I really haven't got the time because with this, we're going to have to do this afternoon. And can you just, I, I don't know, just maybe call back some other time. Now, so, of course, you go on and find the next person, next person, next person. And, and if you do remember to call that person, are you likely to remember that? But in a CRM software once you hang out the phone you can note that down so the next time you call them you have your sad voice on you say oh, I'm so sorry last time we spoke it's back um can I ask what, what happened with Jack you know not what happened with your dog what happened with Jack and I'm so sorry how did the kids take it because you noted down they had kids and do you see how you then this is how you form a customer relationship because you know more about them because the system is, is telling you the notes 
so that you're talking to them as a friend. You're not going to remember all this stuff because you're going to call loads of people. And you're going to make notes of their preferences, what they prefer. Do they prefer phone calls? Do they prefer emails? Do they like getting reports? Have you sent them this particular new book? Have you noted that? All that stuff. That's what that is. Examples. And, and quite obviously, I have not used them all. But we recommend Insightly. Um, Rike. W-R-I-K-E. That has one. Uh, we, uh, Zoho, we are currently using, uh, in my staff, um, Zoho is being used. And there, there are free versions, by the way, of most of these. I think Zoho's got a free one. Um, and uh, we use Insightly. Uh, the biggest, in the past, you may have heard of ACT. I think ACT was bought by, uh, used to come installed on computers back in the day. It was bought by Sage. So, so Sage, the... Uh, the accounting software people, the biggest one in the UK, has, has a CRM system, which you think, I don't know if it does, but in theory, and we do use Sage, by the way, but we don't use their CRM, in theory, it should link. So if you put a, an address and a details in, in the accounting, it should cross over to that. Hmm? That's what it can be used. Anyway, there are, there are many, but CRM, there are the sugar CRM, but try and make, if you use Gmail, find one that integrates with Gmail, I can Sightly and all those. Uh, try and find one that will integrate with your other software so it's easier to transfer so that you don't have a bunch of different names and different phone numbers, different spellings and different addresses and so on. So it's all kind of integrated and, uh, and it's good. C, uh, what is a CMS? So that's a CRM. A CMS is something completely different. CMS is a content management system. So what that is, is a bit of software online that creates your website content and it manages the whole thing so the most uh, in other words blogs blogs are our cms so it's better so wordpress and blogger uh typepad things like that they are all cms systems the best by far is wordpress Please never use the free wordpress version at wordpress.com the free hosted by wordpress WordPress, it's going to confuse you, WordPress software for your website is free, but you need to download it and, and pay for a hosting service of your own. So then you are hosting and it's your software. It is yours. You own, you have the database, everything. It all makes sense. Uh, if you want to know, if you want to be able to put one together, we have our own special click by click. So how to build a website. You click this, you do this, you do this to set up a website to, that really, really, really works and gets customers, go to website101.co. Website101.co and just read that. It's got all the information there. If you want to know more, just uh, send me an email or message me and I will, I, I'll tell you whatever you need to know about it. It's got a 60 day money back guarantee, but that is not the point of this. That WordPress is a CMS system. So what will happen is you will upload photos. You will write blog posts. You will add new products and services and things that you do in, on your website over time because you should be in control of your own website. It's your marketing hub. And over time, over the years, so if you put up a blog post once a week, that's 52 blog posts a year. Over three years, that's 150. How on earth will you find stuff? So your content management system, your CMS, your WordPress, WordPress being the most popular one in the world, um, will organize all that for you in order, in archive. So you can look back through archive files via, in one click that will say all the, show you all the posts that were written in August 2013, for example. Um, you can look at uh, what was the last post that, that was written. What was the next post that was written? When were these photos uploaded? It will upload uh, PDFs. It will upload and store and display PDFs, images, galleries of photographs. If you're a photographer, you'll know uh, something like that is WordPress and, and a gallery site is the best way to display. Or an artist, for instance. It will show thumbnails of smaller versions of the images rather than a massive one that takes up lots of bandwidth, takes a long time to load. So yes, you need both. No, they are not com combined. They sound similar, 
but they are not. They are different things. Yes, you need both because you must use simple tools, preferably free ones, to make your life easier, to enable you to do more because there are many distractions, there are many things to do. If you're gonna work, if you're gonna build a business, sorry to uh, not to sugarcoat it, you're gonna have to work hard. There's no magic secret. I can give you tips galore. You've got to do them. You can't just listen and think, oh, that's easy enough. No, you've got to actually do them. I work hard. It may not look it, but I do. And it's not easy, but it does work. And once it works, it's easier than any other way of doing it. So if you want to uh, see all the tools that I use every day and all the tools that my staff use every single day, and there are millions, but the ones we use every day, go and download this free ebook. Over, I haven't looked lately, but well over 5,000 people have downloaded this because it's quite a good one and we get good reports back. This also looks quite pretty, by the way. Go to marketingforowners.com slash 71. And that is the 71. You think, gosh, that's a lot. You don't have to use them all, but these are the ones and it will explain which, uh, which CRMs. By the way, for those of you that got it before, it's just been updated a couple of things have changed because we don't use the same ones forever. If new stuff comes out and other stuff gets bad or something better, we update. It has just been updated. You may be interested to go get the new one. Let me know what you think. It's gonna be good. Now, special mention, this is going on a bit, but I wanted to answer the question. The question, it's podcast time. Today I'm recommending Isabella Russell's New Media Europe show, right? It is British. She is great, and her husband, Mike Russell, they run a fantastic business. And this weekend, yes, this weekend, I think Saturday, is it on for two days? I'm actually going, and I ought to know, I'm staying there. I'm staying there Friday night, and I'm gonna stay there Saturday night. It's a black tie day, Saturday night. Um, and I was interviewed on this, by the way, on the 21st of April. So uh, Isabella interviewed me. Well, strangely, she was in the UK, I was in Canada. It's every two or three days, it's 25 to 30 minutes. She interviews great people. She's got a lovely way about her. She's really, really nice. It's a good show. There, uh, if you want to go in London, by the way, if you want to go to the New Media Europe show, I'm sure they've still got a couple of tickets left. You can always fit someone else in, so contact them. But go and listen to it, follow their stuff. They are some of the, just the most active. They do this marketing the right way. They are a lovely, lovely couple. A great example how to run and build a business online. New Media Europe show, Isabella Russell. All right, I'll see you tomorrow.